I'm going to show you how to hide the next button. I'll preview this slide and you can see that you've got a next button here. Now there might be a scenario in which you don't want a next button. And the scenario might be that you want the user to click on this button to progress to the next screen. So that's what we'll do. So we'll set up a trigger. So the idea is you click on the red box, create a new trigger, jump to slide, next slide, when the user clicks on rectangle one. So let's preview that and to see if it's going to work. Now I previewed it just to as one slide, so I'm going to get an error message. But if I click on it, it says the slide target is not available, but I know it's working because it is trying to find the appropriate page. And we'll look at it in more detail later on once we've built this up. But you can see that the next button is still there. Now the reason I want to get rid of the next button is because I don't want users just to be able to quite simply press next, 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 next and go through this. I want them to be able to click on this button so they can go to the next screen. The next screen I've set it up. So the idea of user will click on that says review and they go into the screen called review and you've got a review box here highlighted. So to disable the next button, what you need to do though, you need to click on this create new trigger and you want to change state of. And change the state of the next button to hidden. So you've got the options here. You've got normal, which is what it normally is. You've got hidden, which means it's going to be disappeared. And you've got disabled. Now disabled means it's still going to be there, but if they click on it, it just won't work. So I choose hidden. I'll show you disable very shortly. You've then got when, so when the user clicks on something. I don't want it to be when the user clicks on, I want it to be when the timeline starts on this slide. So as soon as the slide starts, the next button will disappear. Press OK. Let's preview this. And there you go. You can see that the next button is not there, you've just got a back button. And you can see this box is clickable. There we go. Now I'm going to show you that again. I'm just going to change though this. I'm going to change the, the rules on this. Instead of being hidden, I'm going to have it as disabled. Okay, so the next button is disabled. I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see the next button is still there, but I can't click on it. Yeah, so I'm actually clicking, but there's nothing happening. The reason I don't like this is because users think they can click on it, but they're just a bit confused because it's not working. So they just think it's faulty. So let's change the rule again. So you want that to be hidden. Press OK. And then the next slide looks like this. So let's preview the entire project. So here we go, this is the page I've created. You can see that the next button is not there, it is hidden, there's only a back button. If we click on this red box, I've got some instructions that says select the highlighted box to move forward, select the box, and we've gone to the next screen. And on the next screen, you have the next button again, so you can then progress. So I go back a page, you can see the next button's gone, and there we go. Couple of things to note, don't delete the next button. You can't just click on this and delete it. Now, this isn't actually a next button, it's just a trigger for it. So if I'm just gonna delete the trigger for hiding it, and then I'm gonna delete this player trigger. So this is the one that says jump to next slide when the user clicks on the next button. I'll delete that just to show you that it doesn't work. So I'm previewing the slide and what happens is that the button still appears to be clickable but the trigger has been deleted so you can't progress it's not letting me go forward a screen it's not giving me an error message to say you know there's not an object available it just doesn't work so you can't just delete the trigger for that so this trigger here it's not the next button it's just the trigger so this is the thing that just tells it go forward a screen 
So deleting that just doesn't work as an option. So always leave these in here. And as I say, I'd highly recommend that you hide the disable button, so it's hidden, rather than disabling it. And if you want to change it back to how it was, you can either have it as normal, or quite simply, you can delete that trigger up the top. 